Hey queens and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you guys how I styled my hair after doing a DIY hair mask. And I was filming my slick back ponytail right here because my curls is really defined. Homies got some new hobbies, even a new two. Maybe she can come help you. Maybe she can come lick you. After we're done, what's done is done. I don't want nothing else to do. start off by spraying one section of my hair with water to make sure that one section is nice and saturated. After that I apply Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream on that one section of my hair and I make sure I get my ends to my roots covered with the product. All throughout my videos you might see me spraying my hair with water because I like to make sure my hair stays damp. Once my hair is nice and saturated I apply a mixture of oils that I created from my ends to my roots to make sure all my hair in that one section is moisturized. After that one section of my hair is coated with oil, I like to apply Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Hacks and Smoothie because it's a very moisturizing product and it helps my curls to be more defined. And I like to use the lock method on my hair which stands for leave-in conditioner, oil, and cream because it makes my curls more defined and it allows my styles to last longer, as well as keeping my hair nice and moisturized. After I finish applying all the products on the right back section of my hair, I like to move on to the left back section of my hair and I start off by spraying my hair with water as I did in the first section and I use the leave-in conditioner from Cantu and I apply the oil as well as the cream. The cream that I use in this video is Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie because it really does enhance your curls. And I'm not just saying that because I use the product. So I would encourage everybody who is natural or who is thinking about becoming natural to try the product out at least once. To see how it helps your curls to become more defined or to just see how it's a moisturizing product. And if you guys do try the product out at least once, to see if it's a moisturizing product or to see if it defines your curls, don't forget to leave your results in the comment section down below. After I put the three products on the two back sections, I open up those braids and I put Eco Styler Gel on the middle part of my hair so that I can brush and smooth down the two back sections and put it in a low ponytail. After I finish applying the three products on the two front sections, I take those two braids down and I start to part my hair into a middle part. After I part my hair to my liking, I put Eco Styler Gel on the top part of my hair to make sure that when I brush my hair down, it lays down nice and smooth. And it took me a while to actually get my edges to be as slayed as I want them to be. So I was at least working on my edges for like 7 or 8 minutes. Once I put my hair into a low ponytail, I wrap my edges in the top part of my hair with the scarf to make sure it lays down nice and flat. And I also spray my ponytail with water to make sure that my hair is nice and wet so that my curls can be nice and defined. And I at least leave my scarf on for maybe 5 to 10 minutes before I take the scarf off and brush my hair one last time and put it back into a ponytail. And the next morning, once I woke up, my hair was still kind of a little wet, so I decided just to diffuse it, and these are my results. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you, queens.